What's going on? Charlemagne. Charlemagne the bitch. I really don't like that dude. Never have. I've never been a fan of his. This guy has a nerve. This guy has a nerve to be criticizing and making fun of R. Kelly. I'll let you guys listen to what this punk ass nigga had to say. I I can't believe this guy. Did didn't this guy allegedly rape a female called Jessica Reed? Is that her name? I think it's Jessica Reed. And this guy has the nerve to be criticizing R. Kelly. Listen to this. Donkey of the day today. Well, Donkey of the day for Wednesday, March 6th, goes to Robert Sylvester Kelly. I'm so sick of giving Robert Kelly Donkey of the day, but this man constantly and consistently has proven that he deserves all the credit. He deserves for being stupid, okay? If you haven't heard, uh, Robert Kelly sat down for an interview with Gail King. Oprah and Gail out here like Raekwon and Ghostface this week, ain't they? Mm -hmm. Jada Kiss and Styles, Cole, Cole and Kendrick, they out here just barring up other media personalities this week, man. Oprah with the Leaving Neverland after show, Gail King with the Robert Kelly interview. I see what ONG out here doing. Drop one of Clues Bond for ONG, damn it. When he drops one of Clues Bombs, it means he's saluting these people. So you're trying to tell me that he's saluting. Oprah for doing an interview further slandering the legacy of Michael Jackson or further tarnishing the legacy of Michael Jackson I should say okay I don't know if I agree with it all, but I respect the media moves, okay? See, in the case of R. Kelly, it's so much to unpack from what we've heard from the first part of this this interview thus far, but even with the sex tapes, even with the marriage certificate, the 15-year-old Aaliyah, God bless the dead, Robert continues to deny, deny, deny. Listen to what he told Gail King. Have you ever had sex no. with anyone under the age of 17? No. I have to tell you, it's so hard to believe that based on all the yes, read I'm and tell what the women Gail, have said about sit, you. I'm gonna what tell the you women something. have said about you. So they're lying on you. That's your explanation. They're lying on you. Absolutely. Lifetime. These girls were older. They were 20 years ago. Why now? Why would they come out now? Because I think that women have been traumatized and now feel comfortable in speaking out now. And they now believe that they will be believed. I love women. I love all women. I love everybody. These stories on Lifetime. They're very bogus. See, this is what I mean when I say I don't agree with it at all because I don't agree with interviewing Robert Kelly. There's really no reason to be doing an interview with Robert unless he's going to tell the absolute truth. If he's not going to say he did it, if he's not going to say he got a problem, if he's not going to talk about being abused as a child and hurt people, hurt people, then why continue to give this man a platform to lie and deny? I'm not going back and forth with that N-word. The jig is up. We've seen the tapes. We've seen the marriage certificates. This is just all entertainment at this point. And, oh, we are entertained. Okay. So, as long as you're not confessing to something you didn't do, then you're lying. What is wrong with this donkey face dude? So, R. Kelly is lying because he's saying he didn't do it. He deserves his day in court. You don't have to believe him. The guy said he didn't do it. So... So Charlemagne, were you lying? Were you lying when you said you didn't rape um, Jessica Reed? I mean, it's, it's fair game. If he can say R. Kelly is lying because he didn't say what you want to hear, then we should be able to drag you through the mud and say that you're lying too. But let's continue. Okay, because when it comes to R. Kelly, there is no other side to explore. Other than exploring the mind of a pedophile and trying to figure out how to stop pedophiles in the future, I suggest chemical castration until we figure it out psychologically. But what do I know? But you people listening to the sound of my voice, dig into this guy, Charlemagne's past, and try to stop future rapists. Or try to stop repeating rapists. Because he wants to stop pedophiles. Okay, fine. But we want to stop rapists too. 
And remember, allegedly, Charlemagne, the donkey face, raped a female when she was, what, 15 or 14? Allegedly, Jessica Reed. Now, this is one time that I wouldn't mind seeing Gloria Allred or Lisa Bloom go after a black man. Because I don't like those two females. But God damn it, I really don't like Charlemagne. I can't stand that guy. If I heard he died tomorrow, I'd be happy. Oh yes, I, I don't like him. I wouldn't mind if he hears this. I'd tell him to his face. I don't like him. I really can't stand him. Let's continue. Uh, this guy Robert is telling on himself and not telling the truth. Listen to him. Sorry. That's stupid. Use your common sense. Forget the blogs. Forget how you feel about me. Hate me if you want to. Love me if you want. But just use your common sense. How stupid would it be for me with my crazy past and what I've been through? Oh, right now, I just think I need to be a monster and hold girls against their will, chain them up in my basement, and, and don't let them eat and don't let them out unless they need some shoes down the street from their uncle. What? Uh, Kelly, you're telling on yourself. All right? Nobody said anything about those girls going to their uncle house to get some shoes. You volunteered that information. And who are these uncles oh that are letting their nieces come get shoes and then sending them back to your house? That was too specific. The saddest part about all of this is that Robert Kelly is taking zero accountability. Even Clearly, clearly R. Kelly was being sarcastic. Clearly, R. Kelly was mocking the allegations. He was saying, listen, it's crazy. This is just crazy. That's, that's all he was saying. Now Charlemagne is trying to let it seem as if R. Kelly is stupid and he's telling on himself. The man is not telling on himself. The man was just being sarcastic in defending himself. Like he was saying, are you people crazy? Why would I do this and do that and do that? That's all he's saying. I'm just showing you how these guys are manipulative. Charlemagne is a bitch. I, I really don't like that guy. When they asked him for a drop in NYC, I don't know why those guys asked him for a drop. They should have busted his head wide open. I, I, I don't know if you guys can tell. In my, I really don't like that guy. I, I seriously don't like him. I don't like to hear him. I don't like to see him. I really don't like that guy. And I hope he goes to jail. I hope people rehash that story about him and Jessica Reed. And I hope he goes to jail. I'm, 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 I really don't like that guy. I, re I want to say some things. I, I, I just, I'm, I'm holding back. I don't like that guy. He's a pussy. He's a pussy. Now he's trying to cover his ass. He's trying to take the heat off him. And he's going after another black man. Where's the proof? Where is the proof? Where's the proof of R. Kelly doing all these things? I don't want to hear about Aaliyah. That happened so long ago. You guys should have gone after the guy. That video of him peeing on the girl, he... He beat that case. So what, he, what, what, what did he do new that we need to chastise this guy about? These females who go to his house, they want to be fucked. They like celebrities. Don't believe me? Ask Cameron, ask Jay-Z, ask Keith Sweat. Wasn't it Keith Sweat who came on The Breakfast Club and spoke about, I think he was talking about um, the groupies he had sex with. I, th I think he did that. Ask Lil Wayne, ask Drake, ask the whole cash money clique. I mean, ask Uncle Luke. Women like men with money. R. Kelly is no exception. Ask you Hefner. Like, what, what the fuck is wrong with Charlemagne? And then you got that potato head nigga in the background laughing, DJ Envy. That simp. I don't like him neither. He's a fucking clown. 
Angela Yee. Uh, I didn't hear her laughing, but uh, sometimes she says some things I don't like. But in this, in in the background, I didn't hear her. But I heard those two fuckheads. Potato Head Envy and this donkey face Charlemagne. To the to the social media detectives out there, do your due diligence. Dig up some shit on this fool and put it out there. I'm, I'm tired of hearing about this guy. I really don't like that guy. We need to start treating traitors of our community with harshness. We're letting them run amok too much and for too long. This guy shouldn't be talking about R. Kelly. Allegedly, he raped a girl at 15. He was 20 or 21. She was 15, allegedly. Why is this guy talking so much shit? Anyway, I'm out.